much, Bridget. Two Hialeah police officers and two alleged accomplices are all in court facing charges. They beat up a handcuffed homeless man and then tried to cover the whole thing up. Well, now prosecutors want to keep all four suspects in jail until the trial. But defense attorneys are fighting that demand tooth and nail. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live with what happened in court today. Andrew. Well, today has been all about the defense, their arguments, their claims, the reasons why they say this entire case is bogus. We think these charges are, are ridiculous. We believe they're, they're fabricated. Defense attorneys getting the chance to cross-examine the lead detective. Their focus, at least right now, is on the alleged victim's credibility, criminal past, and various statements. Is it fair to say that the alleged victim told you there was three officers? Yes. The victim also told you there was some sh chubby guys that beat him up. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Contradiction after contradiction and a lengthy record involving drugs and alcohol. And he's told you that he drinks a lot. Is that correct? Yes, every day. But detectives and prosecutors insist four men are responsible, charged in connection to the kidnapping and beating of Jose Ortega Gutierrez and then trying to cover it up. At the center of it all are the now former Hialeah police officers. Lorenzo Orfila and Rafael Otaño were dispatched to a disturbance at the Tres Conejitos Bakery, where they found Ortega Gutierrez, a homeless man who frequents the area. Surveillance video shows them put him into a police car, and then prosecutors say they drove to a secluded area. With their body cameras off, they claim they beat him while he was handcuffed and claim Ali Saleh, an apprentice to a private investigator, later tried to bribe the alleged victim and sign paperwork that was then notarized by a fourth man identified as Juan Prieto Cofino. Do you have any video surveillance of that exchange? Of the actual exchange of money? Correct. Uh, no, but we do have video surveillance of him meeting with a white pickup truck and going inside, which he says is Mr. Sully. So there is a lot of evidence in this case. There's GPS data showing where the officers were, plenty of different videos. We'll of course see more of that as we finally get closer and closer to the actual trial. But in the meantime, with this hearing, it wrapped up for the day. It will continue tomorrow and we'll keep you posted. That's the latest here in Miami. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News. Lots of moving parts there. Thanks a lot, Andrew.